Hey everybody, DCT here, and holy crap, there's a giant heat wave. I can't be up in my studio, it's about 98 up there. No air conditioning, no. And it's humid. There are parts of the country that are 100 degrees. <sighs> my condolences. My condolences to anyone out there in 100 degree heat. Stay cool, everybody. But, you know, you just want to talk a little bit about Cowboys. Hopefully we ain't struggling out here in this heat, you know, in the 100-degree weather. I'm watching flag football right now on NFL Network. I don't know why, but that's the only thing on. But someone on my last live stream said, Is Cam Kelly the new Richard Sherman? Well... Here, I, 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 I've been looking more into that. Um, so, Chris Richard said he is like uh, Richard Sherman. All right, so Kayvon Frazier is Cam Chancellor. All right. We got uh, Cam Kelly is Richard Sherman, too. Hmm. All right, so that means we're building up part of the doomsday, uh, forgive me, Legion of Boom, right? So, Cam Kelly, he is good. He's a good tackler, good hitter, all right? He is a ball hawk, so goes out for the ball, all right? He has 110 solo tackles, 58 assists, 164 total, all right? Eight tackles for loss, two sacks, nine interceptions, and two forced fumbles. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for a college player. It's pretty good for a college player. So, he's fast, lengthy, and strong. All praise St. Richard. Yeah. Uh, Rich Sherman is good. He really is. All right. But Cam Kelly, he does have things to learn. He really does. There ain't no arguing on that. He really does. Uh, but I could see him being a potential breakout player. Chris Richard, <laughs> Chris Richard, there that name is again. I think he can do something with him. I really do. There's a reason he was undrafted. Yeah, it's because he has to learn stuff. A lot of stuff he's got to learn. All right. Um, I think he could play a little bit better, you know, drop back and everything. I think he could be a little bit better on that, a little bit better on tackling. I, I was looking at some of his college tapes, and I think um, he could be a little bit better there. Um, but, you know what, he can be, he can actually be really good. So, we got the, another breakout player people have been talking about. Name is, uh, Dorrance Armstrong. Taken in the draft, alright. He was a late round pick, defensive end. Um, and I've been wondering what he can be on the team. With, uh, good stats from college, you know, not, like, the best, but pretty good, I'd say. Um, hey, Snap Johnson, how are you doing? Um, I think uh, he was a good pick for Dallas. Not only does he add depth, uh, he helps out a little bit there on the pass rush. Uh, he is talented, and he is really young. That's that's another good thing. I like the depth, though. I really do. Uh, Connor Williams, let's talk about him. Wait, I thought we were talking about Dorrance Armstrong. Well, you'll see where this comes in. Hey, how you doing? Um, well, Connor Williams was a great pick, but he only gave up one sack. To who? Dorrance Armstrong. That's where that comes in. So I can't wait to see what uh, Dorrance Armstrong can do for our pass rush. I think he's going to do some really good things. Uh, Dorrance Armstrong is going to be a potential breakout player. I really do think that's great. You didn't know that? Yeah. Uh, I read somewhere that uh, um, Connor Williams only gave up one sack his whole career. It was actually right on draft night. Uh, I read this. Um, Connor Williams has only given up one whole sack his career. That sack is to Dorrance Armstrong. If that's wrong, well, you know what? <laughs> I didn't come up with that. I read that, uh, I believe, 
it was on NFL Network, which is what I'm watching right now. And all I got is flag football. So, um, you know, that's, the, that's apparently the best we can do. Yeah, football season's not here, but, you know, we got flag football, so we'll be else. I just want football. There's less than 70 days. Less than 70 days. Tell the season. Alright, tell kickoff versus the Panthers. Uh, can't come can't come soon enough. You know. So basically I got your weekend review too. Um what's happening this week. So well not much. We're in the quiet we're in the quiet part of the season. We really are. Between like all the OTAs and then the mini camp. Mini camp starts soon. All right, we've had the OTAs. Mini camp starts soon. Then it's gonna be all football. We're in the quiet time, you know, before uh, Cowboys mini camp. Then it's gonna be football. So you know, we have had a little Earl Thomas trade talk. Well, I don't know if he's actually gonna come to Dallas. Uh, Dak, a uh, new contract agent. That could be a bad thing. We could have to pay him a lot more. And the Vikings. Yeah, the Vikings. We're talking about the Cowboys. The Vikings. Yeah. They signed a, their defensive lineman, Hunter. Um, so, you know. They broke the bank on him. Paid him a lot of money. So, should we sign De, uh, Demarcus Lawrence? Well... You know, we got all these teams paying big money for everybody. Mm, I kind of think we should. It's it's worth the risk. Three years for, um, I'd say, five million each. Five million a year, three years. You know, it's probably a little too little for him, but, you know, I, I don't want to pay him a huge lot, you know. I could say, well, we'll pay you differently as it goes on, um, you know, just to get them done. Maybe uh, six million, three years, just to get them done. Um, but you know, I do have a little thing stuff to talk about. Um, uh, how I feel really about the team. I think we're going to do good. I really do. I think we're going to be a lot better than last year. We got all the parts back, Zeke, uh, Sean Lee, we got some depth there, some good quality depth, all right, Dak, how, how will Dak do, how do you guys feel about the team, just let me know, um, and how will Dak do, better, we're gonna spread the ball out so much more, we ain't gonna have the number one Des Bryant receiver, we're gonna be spreading the ball out a lot, whether it's Zeke, Tavon Austin, Rod Smith, uh, well, Tavon Austin, he works as, you know, kind of the Lance Dunbar part from back a couple of years ago. Um, Alan Hearns, Deontay Thompson, uh, Cole Beasley, Terrence Williams, Michael Gallup, Cedric Wilson is another sleeper, I think, could be a potential. All right. But, um, yeah. My record, uh, I think Dak will do better without Des screaming at him every play. Yeah. I don't want to be like that kind of guy, but I'm I'm a little happy Dez is gone. I'm sorry, Dez. I love you, man, but time's time. Uh, you know, coaches, I think we're a little scared of you. You know, the wide receiver coach, Derek Dooley, what I think, was a little scared of him, I believe, you know, because, well, it's Dez screaming at you. Well, you know, I'll just leave that one right there. But, you know, Dez won't be hogging the ball. We'll be able to spread it out a little bit more to, uh, I believe, a lot different players. You know, like I just said, Dak's like 8-0 or something with without Dez on the field or targeting eight or more receivers. You know, I'm sorry, but, you know, the time of Dez Bryant, Tony Romo, and, um, geez, who was the running back back then? Oh, uh, man, we've had so many. Um, and he went to the Titans. I can't think of his name. DeMarco Murray. DeMarco Murray. Romo, Murray, Brian. That time's done. I'm sorry. It is. 
Tony Romo was a good quarterback, couldn't stay healthy. You know, people saying Dak and Zeke are only good because of the offensive line. Okay, that same offensive line carried uh, McFadden and Matt Castle. Yeah. 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 Think about that. All right. I think Dak's going to do a lot better this year. I got a little record prediction. I'd say 11 and 5 or 10 and 6. Probably 10 and 6, worse than 11 and 5. You know, 12 and 4, yeah. I could see, I really could see that. You know, I, I want to say that, but, you know, that's going to make me sound, well, you're too high, mighty on the Cowboys. They went 9 and 7. They don't have no defensive line. They ain't got no cornerbacks. They ain't got no wide receivers. Yeah. You know, there's these Eagles trolls and the people on, you know, that NFL network, you know. And I really could see us going 12-4. I really could. I mean, I'd, I could only see us losing to the Eagles once. I kind of do see the Falcons. I really do. Um, the Jaguars. And I'm trying to think of uh, one other it's either going to be, we're either going to lose to the Jags or the Texans. It's either going to be that. I heard that Ward has been a beast train. Yeah, yep, that's, uh, I think he's going to be good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, Ryan Switzer, I believe, traded for him. And we got Tavon Austin in return for Ryan Switzer. Uh, well, we got Ryan Switzer gone and Tavon Austin as his replacement. I think it's going to be, I think Tavon Austin is going to be better than Ryan Switzer. Because Ryan Schwitzer really couldn't do the uh, running part, which is what we needed him. That's kind of what we drafted him for. I love him, but, you know, now he he was great return man. He looked like a good receiver, but I kind of need, we kind of need that, um, you know, we kind of need that running kind of receiver guy. No major injuries, 12 and 4, yeah. Well, thing is, 12 and 4, well, mm hmm all right, no major injuries. Well, Sean Lee goes out. Who did we have last year? We had Justin March Lillard, Jalen Smith, Demain Wilson, Anthony Hitchens, uh, Kyle Wilmer. That's it. All right, two positions, two positions, one. We have one guy for one position. Well, we ain't got that anymore. We got, we got a better linebacking core. All right, so Sean Lee goes down. The linebacking core is going to be a lot better, believe me. Um, the secondary is going to be a lot better with Chris Richard. Um, and all the guys staying on the field, hopefully. Hey, Cowboy Face, how you doing? Um, the offensive line. We got three new guys. All right? We got three new good guys. Cameron Fleming. Marcus Martin. And Connor Williams, all good on the O line. Wide receivers, well, those are already good. I don't need to talk about receivers. We're not a passing team. All right, we're a run first team. So Dak to be able to throw the ball out to five, six different guys, well, that's really gonna help. Yeah, we got better depth. Right, no number one right wide receiver Zeke burnt right. Chris Richard, yeah, I'm excited. Man, there's like 68, 69 days, I believe. It can't come here faster. I mean, I, I'm looking at uh, some of the big YouTubers. Mark Holmes has a clock running right on his little TV. He's saying, season's coming so quick. Well, it ain't quick enough for me. Sunday without football. I'm sitting here watching NFL Network. There's nothing on. Flag football's on. I want my Cowboys back. Season can't come quick enough. I mean, let me tell you, as soon as the season comes, I am literally going to be on here all the time. I mean, the reason I'm not on here more than I am. All right, let's check. Let me go back to the week in review. Earl Thomas trade, well, that hasn't really happened. All right, let's see, let's see. The Vikings signed their defensive line, so maybe it's time to hurry up with David Irving. That got a new contract agent. Really two good things. All right. All right. Workouts is happening. That's happening. Workouts is happening. 
All right, that, yep, three things. Three big things. Three things for the, three things for our Cowboys. That's it. All right. Long ass off season to me because I know if you, all right, this, this season's going to be really special. I think we're going to do pretty good. I don't see us making the Super Bowl. I could see it. I really could. I could see us going to the Super Bowl. I really could. Winning it. Any AFC team going to the Super Bowl is going to win. The AFC is not good. The Patriots, eh, they're on the decline. All right, Jacksonville is their only good team. Steelers are on the decline. Kansas City, well, they lost their quarterback, and he was actually a better quarterback, I believe, than Patrick Mahomes. Who, who, I can't, who exactly is Patrick Mahomes? You know, who? who is Patrick Mahomes? I haven't really heard of him until this season. You know, so there really hasn't been much to talk about. And that's, that's a little sad, you know. But, you know, um, I could just go in 12 and 4, 11 and uh, 5, and probably, you know, probably worst, 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 10 and 6. I said last. I I said last year. Dallas is going. Probably I could see it eleven and five, ten and six. Ten and six probably is going to be our worst. Nine and seven. I don't want to see it. You know, I don't. Um, but you know, I was pretty close. I'm gonna say, ten and six. I'm at the old general parking lot watching D. Hey, man, thank you. I, I appreciate that. That's, uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, it's, it's definitely uh, time for Cowboys football. And as soon as football's back, I can't wait. And as soon as real things start heating up this offseason stuff, then I'll be really talking. Uh, but I do have uh, a couple sleeper players, you know. Um,. Cam Kelly is a big one. Uh, Taco is another. Taco, I think, could be really good. Uh, Dak, you know, people are saying Dak ain't going to be good. I see Dak being better. Um, I got Terrence, well, no. Uh, Michael Gallup, I think, is going to be better. Well, is going to be good. I think he's going to be a good addition to the team. Tavon Austin, well, he's not so much of a sleeper because people think he's going to be good. But I could see him being better than expected, you know. Um, Cam Kelly, uh, pretty much the whole secondary, you know. Do I think Randy Gregory will start if he comes back? I don't know. It all depends on how he feels and everything, you know. <coughs> Sorry. But, you know, I think... Um, Randy Gregory, I don't know how good of shape he's in, if he is in good shape. But I, I do think um, I think he has potential to start. I don't know if he is going to start, but I could see him starting. Uh, I could see the defensive ends being Taco, Gregory, uh, Connie Ely. Let's not forget we got him, uh, and I think he's going to be really good. Um, Demarcus Lawrence. And Tyron Crawford out. See Tyron Crawford being very good. All right. I think he's been a little on the decline. So, you know. Uh, Michael Gallup looks like Chris Carter on the... F Damn. Damn. That would be good. If we had a good wide... If we had a good wide receiver. All right. I like him. All right. Michael Gallup, I think, was a great pick in our third round. I think he was. I think he was second round talent. We got him in... Uh, the third. Um, I think Leighton Van Der Esch, well, it was a good pick. I think he's going to be good. Um, my only thing with him is injury. Now, I'm, I am going to talk about injuries. Okay. Okay. We don't want to talk about injury. Wait. Usually by now, we have three or four injuries. We've had one. One injury. One broken foot. That's it. Hmm. I wonder why that is. Well, we got a new strength and conditioning coach. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Well, it's just strength and condition. Well, the strength and conditioning coach. 
really helps out. You know, he gets players working, uh, teaches them stretches and everything. And the whole new coaching staff really helps too. You know, with uh, the wide receiver coach, uh, Sanjay Lal, um, I believe it was, I forget who it was, Sammy Watkins, I believe, said, he taught me everything I know. A top 20 wide receiver in the NFL said, that, okay, Cole Beasley is high on him saying, well, he's teaching me stuff I never even heard of. Teaching us how to run routes. Okay, well, maybe the wide receivers are going to be a lot better. Okay, the strength and conditioning coach. Making the injuries not so uh, hard. Oh, all right. Okay. Chris Richard. Working on the defense. All right. Okay, suddenly this team's really starting to come together. You know, I really do think that th that's how it's going to work. Michael Gallup is going to be a great player. Second round talent in the third round. Hey, that's pretty good. I could have seen him going third wide receiver in the draft. Uh, Connor Williams, I could have seen him. He was first round talent. He really was. He was top 10 talent, really. And I'm surprised. I'm surprised he got pushed back as far as he did. If anything, you know, I, I'm. that's one of my favorite picks. Probably Connor Williams is my favorite pick. You know, then we got Mike White, quarterback. Mm, I don't know why. Hey, see you later, Cowboys face. Um, I don't know why we took Mike, Mike White. I don't really know. Uh, I would have rather to de-tackle. You know, should be a woozy. We'll kill it next. Season. Yeah, he's another good sleeper. Um, I think I think Shadowbay Uzi. I think I don't know how you pronounce his name. If it's Shadu, Shadowbay, um, Shadobi. If I pronounce it wrong, I'm sorry. But I I think uh, I think he's gonna be a good player. I really do. I think he's going to help out the secondary and a lot of stuff. I think this team's going to be a lot better than it was last year, uh, mainly because of Chris Richard and all the new coaching. And let's not forget the depth that we got really helps out. You know, I'm looking at the top 100 NFL players. Tom Brady's number one. Carson Wentz is number three. Dak isn't on there. Well, Dak had a better year than... Um, Derek Carr. Derek Carr's on there. I believe Marcus Mariota is on there. Shadow Bay Awuzie. Okay. All right. Shadow, Shadow Bay Awuzie. All right. All right. There we go. I got it. I got it. All right. Um, I believe Marcus Mariota's on there. Dak had a better season than him. It's a popularity contest. It really is. And for Dak to not be on there is really a big insult. You know, Shannon Sharp said, I'd give you an F for last season. An F? He had no wide receivers. His offensive line was... He lost three key offensive linemen. His defense couldn't win really games. All right. I'll just leave that right there. Uh, that's about where I'm going to sign off. I mean, I don't have much stuff to talk about because there hasn't been much stuff. Um, I'll see you guys later, probably later tonight or tomorrow. Peace off.